Frogs have well developed organ systems. Their digestive, respiratory, vascular, excretory, nervous and reproductive systems are held in a body cavity. Let's take a look at each system in detail. The digestive system consists of an alimentary canal and digestive glands. Frogs, being carnivores, the length of the intestine is reduced. This makes the alimentary canal short. The alimentary canal begins with a wide, semicircular mouth that opens into a buccal cavity which leads into a pharynx. The pharynx continues into a short, tubular esophagus. The esophagus is followed by the stomach, which continues as the intestine, rectum and finally opens into the cloaca. Frogs possess two main digestive glands, the liver and pancreas. The liver secretes bile, which is stored in the gallbladder, while the pancreas produces pancreatic juice containing digestive enzymes. A frog uses its sticky, bilobed tongue to catch prey or food. As the food passes through the stomach, it is partially digested by hydrogen chloride or HCl and gastric juices secreted by the walls of the stomach. This partially digested food, called chyme, then passes into the duodenum, which receives pancreatic juices and bile through a common bile duct. The pancreatic juices digest carbohydrates and proteins, while the bile emulsifies fat present in the food. The digestion of food is completed in the intestine, where it is absorbed by numerous finger-like projections called villi and microvilli. The undigested solid waste passes through the rectum and is finally ingested through the cloaca. The anatomical study also includes the respiratory system. Interestingly, frogs respire in water and on land in two different ways. In water, the frog's skin functions as the respiratory organ and the gaseous exchange takes place through diffusion. This is called cutaneous respiration. On land, a frog respires through the buccal cavity, skin and lungs. During respiration, air is drawn into the buccal cavity through the nostrils and is forced into the lungs. This type of respiration through the lungs is called pulmonary respiration. Did you know that during estivation and hibernation, frogs respire only through their skin? The vascular system also forms a part of the anatomical study and consists of a well-developed blood vascular system and a lymphatic system. The blood vascular system consists of the heart, blood vessels and blood, while the lymphatic system consists of lymph, lymph channels, and lymph nodes. The heart is situated in the upper part of the body cavity and consists of three chambers, two atria and one ventricle, and is covered by the pericardium. The right atrium is connected to the sinus venosus, which receives blood through the major veins called vena cava. The oxygenated blood is then pumped into the ventricle, 
which opens into a sac-like structure called the conus arteriosus, after which it is distributed to different parts of the body by arteries of the arterial system. Deoxygenated blood from the different parts of the body is collected by veins or the venous system and is pumped into the heart. Frogs also have a hepatic portal system and renal portal system. In the hepatic portal system, veins are connected to the liver and the intestine. While in the renal portal system, veins are connected to the kidney and lower parts of the body. The blood consists of plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. While the lymph lacks red blood cells and a few proteins. As the heart beats, Blood circulates various substances such as gases, nutrients and hormones to different parts of the body. The anatomical study also includes the excretory system. This system consists of a pair of kidneys, ureters, the urinary bladder and cloaca. The kidneys are dark red bean-shaped structures situated on either side of the vertebral column. Each kidney consists of several nephrons and gives rise to a ureter. In male frogs, the two ureters function as a urinogenital duct and open into the cloaca. However, in female frogs, the ureters and the oviduct open separately into the cloaca. Towards the ventral side of the rectum is a thin-walled urinary bladder which also opens into the cloaca. The nephrons in the kidneys absorb the excretory wastes from the blood and convert them into urea. As frogs excrete urea, they are called Ureotelic animals. The endocrine glands and the nervous system are also a part of the anatomical study. In frogs, the chemical coordination of different organs is brought about by hormones that are secreted by the endocrine glands. These include pituitary, thyroid, parathyroid, thymus, pineal body, pancreatic islets, adrenals, and gonads. The nervous system in frogs includes the central, peripheral, and autonomic nervous systems. The central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system consists of cranial and spinal nerves and the autonomic nervous system consists of sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. The brain is enclosed in a cranium and is divided into the forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. The forebrain consists of olfactory lobes, paired cerebral hemispheres and an unpaired Diencephalon. The midbrain bears a pair of optic lobes and the hindbrain consists of the cerebellum and medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata passes out through the foramen magnum and continues into the spinal cord, which is enclosed in the vertebral column. The brain gives rise to ten pairs of cranial nerves which provide external information to the brain. Besides a well-developed nervous system, frogs also possess different sense organs such as sensory papillae, taste buds, nasal epithelium, eyes 
and a tympanum with internal ears. However, only the eyes and internal ears are well-organized structures, while others are cellular aggregations around nerve endings. The eyes are simple and are situated in the orbit of the skull, and behind each eye is a tympanum that serves as a hearing and a balancing organ. Finally, let's learn about the reproductive system. Frogs are unisexual animals with well-developed male and female reproductive systems. The male reproductive system consists of two yellowish ovoid testes, which are attached to the upper part of the kidneys by the mesochium. From each testis arise five to six vasa deferentia that enter the kidneys and open into the bidder's canal. The vasa deferentia finally join the urogenital duct and open into the cloaca. The cloaca is a small median chamber that serves as a single opening that passes out fecal matter, urine and sperm. The female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries. However, unlike the testes, the ovaries are not connected to the kidneys. From each ovary arises an oviduct, which separately opens into the cloaca. Interestingly, a mature female frog can lay about 2,500 to 3,000 ova at a time. After copulation, the eggs are fertilized externally in the presence of water. These eggs develop into tadpoles, which undergo metamorphosis to form adult frogs. As the life cycle of frogs has a larval or tadpole stage, development is indirect. We've just studied the anatomical features of the frog, such as the digestive, vascular, respiratory, excretory, nervous and reproductive systems.